Welcome to the Santa Barbara Body Therapy Institute. My name is Katie Mickey. I'm the director here and instructor for our upcoming ethics class. And I have with me Julian Lake and Vanessa Simpson. They're both thriving massage therapists in practice at Massage Envy and out at UCSB. And we're here to explore what you do in transforming a sticky situation when it arises in your practice. So ethics may sound like a really dry topic, but it's actually a really fun and juicy topic because this is the opportunity that we have to go into those sticky situations, have fun with them, you know, lighten up around it, and learn some tools to really transform them and make them um, fun, empowering um, opportunities. What, what I'm offering in the ethics class is a way of breaking down events into observable actions, the feelings that arise, the needs that underlie that, and then the opportunity to make a doable request. So first we're going to learn that skill and practice it on ourselves. We call that self-empathy. And then we're going to learn to practice that skill with our clients. And we call that offering empathy. And then from that, we learn to make doable requests. Okay? So I'm curious. You've been in practice for a while. Who has a sticky situation that has arisen in your practice that you'd like to have a little bit more skill and, and finesse in? in responding to? Probably both of us. <laughs> I have one um, in particular just with uh, a male client that I was working on who made some advances with me a little bit, which is touch, inappropriate touch. Didn't cross large boundaries, but it did change the setting, and I handled it the best that I could, but it, I would maybe like some more advice. Okay, cool, that's great. Life. How about you, Julian? Any sticky situations that come to mind? Well, one in particular, I have this one client who's just talks the whole time he's on the table, and I deal with it the best I can. But it's it's been a it's been an issue for me, and I definitely feel quite irritated uh -huh. when he's just yapping away. All right. So you notice you take it personally. I do. Yeah. Like he's not he's not getting the gist, yeah, he's like not getting the gift that you have to offer. Disappointed in the massage or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Julie and I are gonna role play right now, and I'm giving Julian a massage. Pause. All right. At this point, I'm going to just break down what happens for me. So I notice the observable behavior. I notice that he's actively engaging with me by touching my hand as I'm massaging him. And I notice the feelings that arise for me are a bit of fear because it feels like um, the situation is now out of my control. It's in this awkward, sticky realm. Um, there might be some awkward feelings as I set boundaries. Um, I'm feeling nervous. And my need is for respect, and my need is for safety, and my need is for him to, um, is, is for my gem or my contribution to be received. So I, I'm wanting to um, succeed at expressing my caring and having that be honored. So, um, so that all happens really quickly within me, and then I need to step to the request, the, the doable request. So, um, so I'm going to go back into um, what I might do within the, within the session. Okay. So, Julian, I notice you are um, engaging with me in the massage and, and touching my hand in a way that. Um, it's a little uncomfortable for me. I'm just wondering if you're comfortable um, letting your arm rest and, and, um, and I'm just shifting the contact. How's that for you? That works. Cool. Great, thanks. So yeah, and then um, later on today after this, I'm going to go grocery shopping. I really need to pick up some, uh, some lettuce to make some salads for, for a group party that I've got going on. I really like group parties. I think they're... Do you like group parties? So right now, I'm going to take a pause because I'm feeling a little triggered. I'm feeling a little annoyed that my client is talking so much. And it feels like she's really not getting into the massage very well. And I have a need for awareness and a need for embodiment. And so what I'm going to do is make a doable request. So it sounds like you have a lot going on in your life. But I think you'd really get some more from the massage if you checked in with the sensations that are going on right under my hands. Maybe take some nice deep diaphragmatic breaths.
does that sound? Um, it sounds good. I don't know, I think I just have a lot of stress. Yeah, you're right, so it tends to come out with talking a lot. And yeah, I think that I need to find someone maybe to talk to about things. But That's you're a great right idea. here, <laughs> so it's so why, don't, why don't you check in with how that feels? Take a couple breaths and, and see what you're feeling in your body. So in our ethics class, we, we explore a number of body-centered movement practices and awareness practices. Pushing hands is one of them. Pushing hands is a, a fabulous metaphor for maintaining your center and um, playing with the center of another. We do a negotiating of space as we move um, towards each other and feel the interplay of our fields and how that resonates on a felt sense in our body. When do we have those kind of gut feelings that tell us, oh, I'm not feeling so comfortable, not so awkward, and do we override those feelings or do we pay attention and listen to them? Uh, the practice here is to really pay attention to your gut feelings and the wisdom within. We also explore what are the liability issues in practicing the massage, you know, what is our scope of practice, what can we do, what, what um, will our insurance company cover, all those issues, state certification, that gets thoroughly explored, um, projection, transference. The, the class is a lot of fun. We laugh a lot, we have a great time, and the goal is to, is to um, come away um, or, or, or have these, this a great skill set and uh, mentors and take, you know, kind of out of the closet the feelings of disempowerment or um, a lack of self-worth that can arise when you feel like you don't know quite how to handle a situation. To know you're not alone. You're not alone. We're all in a process of learning and growing. And massage is a great context for doing that, to become more empowered and effective in meeting your needs. We invite you to join us.